Hey guys, we are in week three of our back to school bonanza. And this week we are going to tackle the packed lunch. Now, if you're new to my channel and you're wondering what is all this back to school bonanza business, you can click on the annotation here and it'll take you to the other two episodes and get you caught up. And there's some wonderful giveaways attached, so be sure to check it out. So I am a big believer in bringing your lunch to school or work. You will save a ton of money this way and you will also be in control of what you eat and how much of it you eat. But here's the rub when it comes to packed lunches. Did you know that each person who brings a packed lunch using packaging, tin foil, plastic baggies, paper bags, creates 67 pounds of waste per year per student? And just imagine how many students there are out there and not even college students. Think of the little kids too. So I thought that that would be a fabulous giveaway to offer some kind of reusable lunch bag and box. So that leads me to this week's giveaway, the Bentoware Lunch Box by Laptop Lunches. I love this thing. It is my new favorite product. So I found out about this company through my friend, Catherine McCord of Weelicious. If you don't already know of Catherine's channel, I encourage you to check it out and subscribe. She is the ultimate lunchbox lady. She has some awesome videos on healthy lunches, healthy snacks. She has even written a whole book on the subject. So she is definitely the go-to expert when it comes to the healthy lunch. So a special thanks to Catherine for introducing me to my new favorite product and a special thanks to Laptop Lunches for participating in this giveaway. So for this contest, one of you lucky viewers will win the Bento Wear Lunchbox, which comes in its own hard carrying case and includes three different compartments, one for a sandwich and two for healthy snacks. Now, because it was just too cute and I couldn't resist it, I personally am throwing in the insulated carrying bag and coordinating ice packs. I love these two things because that way you can then pack more perishable items that need to be kept cool. And you'll also be really tricked out for lunch. So by now you guys know the drill. If you wanna enter this contest, just leave me a comment below letting me know why you wanna win this prize and I'll pick my favorite comment and award the winner. And remember, you have until October 7th to enter this contest and any of my back to school giveaways. So if you know anybody who could also use this prize, be sure to pass this video around and that way we'll allow for the most amount of people to enter. So without any further ado, let's tackle lunch. So let's start by reinventing the classic turkey sandwich. So when it comes to turkey sandwiches, I'm a big believer in getting a little bit more adventuresome and not just going for the humdrum turkey. Pick something a little bit more interesting, like a smoked turkey is quite nice, or a maple honey turkey is also a good choice. They're usually right there next to the regular turkey, and all you have to do is ask. Oftentimes in your grocery store, you wanna head out of the bread aisle and go into the bakery aisle. That's where they have the more interesting breads. And you can often find rosemary breads, olive breads, things that you wouldn't normally think of to use for sandwiches. And you can also get it sliced right there and put into freezer bags. I find the best way to store bread is to actually put it in my freezer and then just microwave it when I need it. That way it'll stay fresher longer and you can end up getting a lot more interesting breads. Now let's talk about the spread. So I love mustard when it comes to turkey sandwich, but you can make it a little bit more interesting by using honey mustard. And you actually don't need to go out and buy a separate jar of honey mustard. You can actually save a little bit of money and use regular Dijon mustard and just add a little bit of honey to it. So oftentimes you have Dijon mustard and you probably have a jar of honey around. Just add about a half a teaspoon of honey to about a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Mix it together, et voila, honey mustard. Then for our sandwich, we're gonna need a little bit of crunch in the form of some vegetables. So I love lettuce and tomato. It's classic for a turkey sandwich, but you don't need to rely on the sort of boring iceberg lettuce. You can use something a little bit more flavorful like butter leaf lettuce. It's just a little bit more sophisticated and gourmet and has a lot more flavor to it. Then I also like to use Roma tomatoes. I find that they're smaller and easier to cut and put in a sandwich, and they also aren't as seedy and get as mushy as a regular tomato would. Then you're gonna take your sandwich, put it in your sandwich compartment of your bento box, and now we're gonna tackle the coordinating snacks. When it comes to snacks and a packed lunch, I always like to have something savory and then something sweet. So I know it's tempting to reach for those potato chips, especially when you wanna jazz up a boring sandwich. But we're gonna do something a little bit healthier that will be just as satisfying, I promise, in the form of some pita chips and store-bought hummus. I love these little bento box compartments because you can fill the bottom of it with the store-bought hummus, put those little pita chips on top, and the top of the lunch box actually acts as a big lid. So it's so tight that when you shake it around, you won't have to worry about the pita chips or your hummus coming undone. 
Then for our sweet snack, I love applesauce. Applesauce is such a soothing, satisfying snack, especially when you want something sweet that's also healthy. Now, when it comes to picking applesauce, make sure you get the variety that is 100% natural, unsweetened, because applesauce can be loaded with all kinds of sweeteners and preservatives, and you don't want any of that. Now here in the States, we are spoiled with this pumpkin pie spice because we use it in our pumpkin pies at Thanksgiving. But if you're not from the United States and you wanna know how to approximate the taste, you can actually make your own. And all it is is cinnamon, cloves, cardamom, and nutmeg. Or you could just use some cinnamon, that would work too. I love using these spices with the applesauce because the applesauce is sweet and delicious and then given this little spice, it just makes it all the more interesting. Then you just put the lid on your little compartment and presto, there is lunch number one. Moving on to lunch option number two for our vegetarian friends. I love a good bread and for this we're gonna use some toasted olive bread. So go ahead and pop it in the toaster or under your broiler. Then we're gonna add some store-bought pesto, some fresh mozzarella, I do recommend using the fresh mozzarella wrapped in plastic. It's better than the mozzarella that's actually sitting in water because that mozzarella is too soft, has too much water in it, and will actually make your bread too mushy. So it's better to use the kind wrapped in plastic as it's harder and doesn't have any water in it. And then we're gonna top with some sun-dried tomatoes. And there you have it, a really yummy Italian-inspired vegetarian sandwich. Then for our savory snack, we're gonna take some fresh cherry tomatoes, cut them in half, and sprinkle them with a little sea salt. Now I know we just used the sun-dried tomatoes in the sandwich, but I really love the combination of the sun-dried tomatoes and the fresh tomatoes mixed with the pesto and the cheese. It's a great flavor combination that's also really healthy. Then for the sweet snack, we're gonna use some dried apricots with some almonds. I love the combination of apricot and almond. It's such a great flavor pairing. And you've got that chewy sweetness of the apricot mixed with that nice crunch of the almond. It's a great little snack that will leave you completely satisfied. So there you have it, sandwich combo number two. So moving on to sandwich combo number three, this one is dedicated to our vegan friends. And for this one, I was inspired by the flavors of the Mediterranean. So we're going to take a whole wheat pita, cut it in half, fill it with some store-bought hummus, then sprinkle about a tablespoon of flat leaf parsley. I love the combination of all of these flavors with the flat leaf parsley. It just adds a wonderful freshness to it that I think you'll really enjoy. Then we're gonna to top with some fire roasted peppers. Just make sure that you've blotted them with a paper towel first so that they don't make your sandwich soggy. And then you're gonna do the same thing to some artichoke hearts. Top with some pitted Kalamata olives. And presto, your vegan lunch is ready. Now for our savory snack. I really love these bean chips. If you guys have not tried them, you are in for a treat and you should definitely pick up a bag. They're a lot healthier than just a classic tortilla chip, but they kind of have the same satisfaction to them. They're salty, they're light and crunchy, and they're filled with all kinds of beans, so they're gonna give you a lot more protein to add to your hummus sandwich. Then for a sweet snack, I'm going to use some of my homemade trail mix. I love this recipe because it's so easy to do and it's such a great little snack to pack in a lunchbox. If you wanna know how to make my homemade trail mix, just click on the thumbnail here and it'll take you to the video. Okay, so the vegans are taken care of. Now we're gonna move on to the pescatarians. So for this sandwich, we're gonna do something a little bit more fun in the form of a pinwheel. The first thing you're gonna do is start with some lavash bread. If you're not familiar with lavash, it's an Armenian style bread that's pretty easy to find now in most supermarkets. Then you're gonna take some whipped cream cheese and spread it all over the surface of the bread. I like the whipped cream cheese because I think it just spreads a little bit better, but if you're not able to find it, regular cream cheese will work as well. To that, you're gonna add some fresh lemon zest, some freshly cracked pepper, some freshly minced dill, and about three pieces of smoked salmon. Go ahead and roll up the bread, creating a nice long log, and then you're gonna cut it into about two inch pieces. Then you can go ahead and take your little pinwheels and put them in your bento box, and your sandwich is ready. Now for the snacks. For the savory option, we're going to throw together a quick cucumber salad. All you do is take a hothouse cucumber. I like these varieties because the skin is thinner than a regular cucumber, which means you don't have to peel it, which will save you a bunch of time in the morning. 
go ahead and cut them into small wedges, throw them in your bento box, then dice up one radish. I love the radish because they're so spicy and crunchy. And then you're gonna take a splash of rice wine vinegar and throw it over the top. I love this vinegar because it's sweeter and lighter than traditional vinegar, and it's a great little condiment to have on hand when you wanna add some interest to some freshly cut vegetables. And then for our sweet snack, it couldn't get any easier. We're just basically going to take some fresh blueberries. I love blueberries as a sweet snack option because they're a great fruit that's packed with antioxidants and you don't have to cut them. All you have to do is rinse them and throw them in your container. Okay, option number four down. Moving on to option number five for all of you meat lovers out there. I'm gonna show you how to literally spice up a roast beef sandwich. We're gonna go back to our rosemary bread. So the nice thing about all of these recipes is I've doubled up on some of the ingredients. So if you wanna make all of them, you could buy these ingredients and then some of them will play double duty throughout the week. So to our rosemary bread, we're going to spread some mayonnaise. Then we're gonna add some prepared horseradish. I love having this condiment in my fridge because it's so spicy and delicious and just makes anything you put it on taste a lot more gourmet. To that, we're gonna sprinkle a few capers about three to four slices of deli case roast beef, and then top with arugula. I love arugula as a green because it's spicy and delicious and just adds a really nice kick to any sandwich. For our savory snack, we're going to use some edamame chips. Again, I love them because they're crunchy and salty and just a little bit healthier than the potato chip. You can find them at major grocery stores or health food stores. I get mine at Trader Joe's. They're pretty inexpensive. And what I like about them is they're small and they can fit into these little bento boxes perfectly. Now for our sweet snack, which also has a bit of a savory twist to it. I love this little grape salad. I did it once for a packed lunch I had about a week ago and I just had to share it with all of you because it's so delicious. You take some red grapes, some crumbled blue cheese, and some chopped walnuts. Put it all together in your little bento box and then it's actually meant to be eaten with a spoon because it does get a little bit messy. And you'll see you'll get that delicious, cold, refreshing taste of the grape, the saltiness of the blue cheese, and the crunch of the walnuts. These three ingredients were born to go together and it's just a great way to finish off your little lunch. So there you have it, my five super sandwich combos with coordinating snacks. I hope you give one of these a try and let me know what you think. Or hey, give them all a try. You've got a whole week's worth of lunches right here waiting for you. And I will see you back here next week when we are going to tackle a budget-friendly gourmet meal made in a toaster oven. No joke, you don't wanna miss it. I'll see you then.